What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading coming at you today with another daily trade review. Getting this one out of the way a little earlier than usual. Um, don't really see anything else in the market that I think will have me come back this afternoon. So I'll go ahead, get this one out of the way. We are finishing green today. Um, but overall, I was not happy with my performance. I um, came into the market with the plan, with the plan that I wanted to abide by. And personally, I don't think I really, um, really abided by it. But like I say, we were green nonetheless. So go ahead, pull up the thumbnail watch list. Um, we were watching our usual five, didn't find anything on the watch list to add to it. Um, I did have Walmart still on the list and AMC is on there just because I wanted to see how it reacted in the open. And we see that it sold off. So I ended up closing that call that I was in, took a loss on it, um, ended up closing it and we will move on from that one. Walmart was looking to see if it was going to break down um, at this line on the chart. That's, that was the area that we needed to see it. Um, wanted to see it break under and hold. And we see that it's just kind of trading right at it. Came back up to um, this area that we had marked on the charts. And one thing that I'm going to start doing in the mornings, and I did it this morning, um, this line these lines here that you see up top, those were high of day for the previous day. Because the, the way that the market was looking, it was looking like it was gonna go higher. So I wanted to mark the chart so that I knew where the high of day for the previous day's candle was at, so that if we broke and held, we knew that we were out of the previous day's candle. And um, we see Apple, Apple made a nice run up to it. It broke it and just kind of chopped along. And now we see that it's back below it. Facebook did the same thing. What I'll be doing on my charts is in the mornings when I'm doing my um, pre-market routine, I'm going to make those lines a little thicker just so I can kind of differentiate between it. And that was the, um, that was the plan that I wanted to do today was that I wanted to trade and make sure that I was not trading inside of a candle if I was trading my regular five. And um, didn't really hold up to that. Didn't, didn't, didn't really follow that. So um, let's go ahead. We'll pull up trader view real quick. Look at the details. We're reviewing trades from April 12th. Um, we took five trades today. Closed PL $67. And we started off kind of flat this morning trading AMD. Um, again, didn't really hold up to what we wanted to do and um, took a loss right out the gate. And then we kind of cleaned it up. A little small flat trade right there, but overall a decent day, made money. So really can't be mad when you're making money. But let's go ahead, let's get these trades reviewed. And we're going to start with, um, we'll start with the SPY today, since that was the one that we only took one trade on. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I wanted to mention also, if you look down in the description, it is a table of contents. So in the future on my videos, if you don't want to sit through my little intros, um, it will be time stamped to where you can go right to the trade reviews at. So let's go ahead. Let's get the spy reviewed. Um, we took one call on the spy today. A couple of these trades that we took today, we did take two, two contracts. So on the spy, we took just one. And this was a put play. And we got in this at 1016. Let's see where 1016 would have been at. 
1016 would have been that candle right there. Um, again, one contract, we can give it extra room if we needed to, but we see we didn't need the extra room on this trade and it made a nice move down. And we got out of this trade at 1019. We got out of this one when it came down to the VWAP. But we see that it pulled back just about to where our entry was at. And then it made a nice move. It made an excellent move. And um, it's still going lower. But we made $25 on this one play. Made $25 on it. And basically, we were entering off of this pullback. And then once it broke that, a little choppy. We had some topping or some um, bottom and tails in there. So this definitely was not a clean trade. Was not a clean trade, but it did give us about a halfway pullback from that move. Almost up to this area here. And then it broke down. It did exactly what we figured it would do right here at the VWAP and test it. We didn't want to sit through that test and um, we ended up getting out of it. So, wasn't a bad trade overall. And that was our fourth trade. That was our fourth trade of the day that we took. And now let's go ahead and review our AMD trades. Traded AMD four times today. Let's take a look, see what we were looking at at AMD. I think I have. Let me go to the daily. Give me one sec on this one. I did not put a line on the chart for this one. So let's see where we were trading at, because this was gapping up a little bit. So this is where it was gapped up to. And we see it pulled back. So now we're inside of that previous candle. We are inside of that previous candle. And we took a put play on this. And we got in at 938. 938. 938 would have been this little green candle right there. That little green candle right there. Um, not a good entry. Um, we did somewhat get a retest of the VWAP right there. Um, but it was on bottom and tails. So wouldn't have wanted to enter it on those bottom and tails because that's telling us that buyers are in the trade. Um, it pushed down and we got in when it pushed down and I'd be doggone if we aren't on the back side of the trade when we entered and we stopped out of this at 947. We were 940. As it's coming back up to the VWAP. So we got in here, we set our stop up there and we actually took a larger than usual stop on this we stopped out for a 33 dollar loss on this trade and like i said we were definitely on the back side of this trade um getting in at 938 we didn't abide by our let's give the market 10 minute rule um i definitely need to do better at that i don't need to be trying to find the first move I need to let the market kind of work for a minute. So, um, and had we did that, let's see, where was 948? So we would have been right there. Um, but we would have been able to see what those two five minute candles looked like. Let's, let's do that real quick. Just take a peek, see what the first two that was the first two five minute candles. Um, we might have got peekabooed in, but I need to, didn't pay attention to the left with this wick right here. Wouldn't have wanted to see that trying to go down either. So, overall, not really a good trade. Um, especially when I, when I sit back and I analyze the trade. 
was not a good trade. But that was our first trade of the morning. And then, let us see. Our second trade, of course, was back on AMD again. That's the rest of the trades of the day. This one here, we got in at 950. 950. Let's see where 950 would. Oh, I'm like, why don't I see my arrow on here? Y'all saw me go back and look at the um, look at the spy. I'm like, did I change the chart? Our time frame. We want to be on the one minute, and we want to be on today. There's my arrow. I was tripping. Like, what the heck? All right, here we go. So 9:50. 9:50 would have been that candle right there. Um, we got in this one as it came back up. Kind of consolidate over testing the VWAP and then it broke up. This one we bought two contracts on. We bought two contracts on this one primarily because we knew we didn't have much room. Knew we didn't have much room. So if we needed to get out, we were going to be getting out right there and um, taking whatever that profit was. We can keep a fairly tight stop coming back to right here where our usual stop would be at. We didn't need to play it any further down because this was our area that we would be stopping out on. But you see, we didn't need it. And we got out of this trade four minutes later. We got out on this candle right here coming back down. That candle there is it's coming back down. And we made $24 on this trade. We paid $153, sold it for $165, and we made $25. Bucks. I want to see something real quick, though. Go to the calculator. Let's see. 25 divided by, uh, 24 divided by 150. So we made 15% on that trade. Not bad. Not bad, 15% gain on your money. That was decent. That was decent. All right, next trade. AMD, guess what we're playing now? We bought two puts this time, 1013. So we kind of flip-flopped it. Let's see where 1013 is. 1013 would have been right here in this candle. We got in at um, 10, 13, and 14 seconds. So would have been right about here. Took two contracts again on this one because again, we're going to have a tight stop. I don't even want to think about having a loose stop on this trade. So stop right there. As you see, we didn't even have to worry about it. This one again, we bought two because we were only playing it realistically down to here knowing that we would hit a little resistance let's see where we got out we got out at 10 20 and 46 seconds so wrote this one on through wrote this one on through and that was just because we just saw it kind of chopping around could have stayed in this one a little bit longer but we had our target limit set and that was 50 bucks. We made $50 on this trade. But look at how this thing just sequentially kept going, pulling back, going, pulled back here, went some more. So we definitely left a good bit of money on the table on this trade. And then something else I want to look at up here. This is the um, the cues. If we look, AMD was showing weakness. Let's get over there. Uh, where is it at? Nope, there we go. This was today. 
So wasn't really showing weakness. They both kind of bounced down. I need to set this one to today as well. But they both kind of bounced down, came back up. It started showing weakness right here in this area. So AMD was going down and the Qs was just kind of meandering along. So ended up just making our $50 target and we kept it moving. And then our last trade of the morning, AMD again, we're playing puts. This one here we got in at 10.22. So we're getting in. Uh-oh, where are we at? 10.22. Um, 10.22 and 57 seconds. So we probably have gotten in at the end of this candle. Getting down to the close to the bottom of this candle. Um, it's one of them ones I got to shake my head on. I didn't want to lose no money. Didn't want to lose any money. And in the process, I didn't make any money. We got out of this trade at 1032. There's 1032. 1032 would have been this candle here. Got out of the trade, that candle right there. One contract and we made $1. Know how we made one dollar. After this thing made this move here and started coming back down. We moved our stop up to break even. Moved the stop up to break even. And it stopped us out broke break even came back up and then it went again. So. Um. Did that a couple of times yesterday. Did that a couple of times yesterday where um, we didn't want to take a loss on the trade. So we moved the stop, got out, and then the trade kept going. So that's something else. If I have conviction in the trade, because I really shouldn't be in the trade if I don't have conviction. What didn't give me conviction were these bottom entails. Were those bottom and tails? Every time I was seeing those bottom and tails, I'm like, this thing is about to turn back up and go against me because that's the market that we're in. So, um, one of those things I'm like, don't know how to, don't know how to process that one. Do I leave my stop and then the market does what it's been doing and goes up there and stops me out? Or do I go to break even after it's made the move and then get stopped out and it goes? So um, that's the dilemma that I'm in right now. That is the dilemma. I'm sitting over here looking at the spy on the thumbnail watch list. That's the beauty of the thumbnail watch list when the market is going. And I can I could take a peek at everything. Look at what the spy is doing right now, y'all. I'm over here. Look at what the spy is doing. It is just going. I'm going to drag this. We do have this area marked on the chart. So. Um, might be a bounce play because this area has been holding good. This has been a good area. So might be a bounce coming for the spy. But like I said, I think I'm done for the day. Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. It is a short week this week with Good Friday being a holiday. So, won't be able to get any trading in there. I might get out and play me some golf. But um, that's going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this recap. Again, if you hadn't already hit that like button, please do so. Um, doesn't cost you a thing. It'll kind of help me out. We did, milestone, we did reach 100 subscribers yesterday. So, um, if you are a sub, thank you. Thank you and thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Like I say, I do these reviews for myself, but I definitely think other people can find value in them as well as me finding value when people make comments. So um, definitely, definitely, if you're not a sub, please think about it. And I'm going to drop a line right there.
Look at that. Uh-oh, I got the arrow set. Let's change. Look at that area right there, man. I love, I love technical analysis. Look at how that area just held that. How that just held that area as support. And then once it broke it, it just took off. That would have been an excellent trade right there. This thing made a $2 move in less than 30 minutes. Look at what it did. Came right on down to this here. And look at the volume on this candle. That's some pretty good volume on that candle as this thing is possibly basing out. Um, possibly setting the low of the day. Because like I say, this area has been holding as a pretty good um, as a pretty good area. But we'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down. And um, we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So y'all have a good day. Enjoy. 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 Peace.